Hey guys, it's Minister Q, and uh, I'm back again with another video today. I did not notice that I had this thing on my tooth. I had spent all day yesterday before I got on the video making sure everything is good. It don't matter sometimes seeing what I do, something that's like some little flaw somewhere. So I apologize for some little leaf thing in my tooth yesterday on the other video. Anyway, no further ado, Father God, I just want to thank you for today. Bless myself, fear to me out filter um, my words and just what I want to say today and Lord forgive me and forgive every one of their sins save our families Lord God get us ready for the end time and just bless us to be strong bless us not to patty cake to play with the word of God to play with our walk in you and for people who still need help give them strength to not play around with you Lord God bless them the way you bless me Lord God you've been so merciful to me you've been so loving you've been all these things and um just give me the strength, Lord God, to love on people like you love on people and just love them through me. And um, I decrease 1,000% so that you can increase 1,000%. Give me the right words to speak on this video. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. So last night, I had a very peaceful, peaceful sleep. It was awesome just out of this world peaceful my body felt rested you know i was listening to the word of god again i just played completely psalms 91 no other psalms except for psalms 91 to be completely just engulfed and wrapped i'm telling you for those who don't think the word of god is not powerful even if you get confused you take your bible Open it up and put it under your pillow. I take my Bible. I have two of them. I open them up and I put them under a pillow. I normally would do Psalms 91 and two different Bibles at the same time under a pillow. And I do that. And I feel so great. And I sleep so good. Um, it works for me. It works for me. Last night, I dreamed so, so much. I had about five to six short excerpts of dreams. And it looked like just my life. Every area of my life was like being explained to me. And what it's been feeling like lately when I'm waking up, it feels like I'm still getting a download. It feels like I'm waking up, but God is still downloading from what happened from my dream. And basically, I wake up and I'm like, what did I dream? What did I dream? Uh, uh, uh. And then I'm like, oh, about like 20 minutes later. And so I'm still waking up in the morning. I'm still waking up. And sometimes I could be on the phone talking with with a friend or whatever it is, and it's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just, I'm still waking up. I'm still waking up. I'm still waking up. And I'm waking up, and I can feel myself, like, downloading and getting the upload from what happened. And I, I can feel that I'm still getting the information on what happened in the spirit, even though I can't see it. And all of a sudden, when it's done, I feel like a computer or something is weird. Boom. And it'll all come to me. So I dreamed about myself in a childhood house last night in a situation. It wasn't bad, but I was just in a childhood house. And I dreamed a little bit about my daughter and a friend of mine. And I just dreamed about my father. And uh, things are typings. Remember that. Just because you dream about your daughter, your father, yourself, or a friend doesn't mean... You get what I'm saying? So basically, when you dream about a house, it doesn't mean that, oh my God, something's going on, what's going on, what's going on? You know, my kid is in this dream, what's going on, what's going on? When you dream about a house, it means your body and different compartments. So I'm dreaming about my childhood house and I'm sleeping in my childhood house in my old room as I was as a kid. And I moved out of that house, I think I was like 11 
or 12 or whatever. There was some bad things that happened in that house, but it doesn't mean, you know, that God was trying to talk to me about the house. Um, like I said before, the house represents your body and it represents a part, a compartment or a place in you. So if I'm dreaming that I'm in my house, then it's a place of innocence that could still be remaining. You get what I'm trying to say? Follow me. So ins and outs, I still got to talk to God about that dream. You know, that that's a long dream, but I'm dreaming of just, you know, just pictures, you know, pages are coming before my face. And I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. And um, I didn't remember everything until I fully awoke. But I definitely believe that the word of God had a part to play in me dreaming all of those things the way that I was dreaming everything like that. It was amazing. Play the word of God. I, you know, I understand people get overwhelmed, but I know as loving as I am. Yes, I did break a nail. I went bowling. It was my son's birthday last night. He turned 16 and we were at a um, main event in Austin, Texas. And I broke my nail bowling. So, um, just, you know, having fun and the Lord wants you to, you know, spend time with your family and, you know, be non-religious and everything. So, dreaming, you know, like this and having these different dreams is good. But the Word of God, I'm telling you, start small. If somebody is telling you to start small and then you don't, I just want to say something to pause right here. I'm not being passive. I know a lot of strategies. I know a lot of people. And I say the same thing to everybody. Start small. Why am I pausing? Why am I saying it? Because you can be so overwhelmed and you can forget something real quick that you need to do that's going to help you. And if you don't slow down, this is why you got to catch it. If you don't slow down when somebody wants you to catch something or God is giving, it's God. Because after we drop that nugget, we go on to something else in our life. But when God drops a nugget through somebody, don't stop to look at that person like, you know, this is God. You know, because God uses people like a glove. This is God. Like I put on Quinitra right now. I put on Marcus Rogers right now. I put on Trail James right now. You know what I'm saying? I put on Juanita Bonham right now. Whoever, however, whatever. I'm putting on my glove that I can use. And in order for me to get tangibly in touch these people, they got to be right for me to touch them and to use them to to give the word of God to people. So, whatever God puts the glove on, take it verbatim for what that is. Because some of us may not even be good. No way. Sometimes I feel like I'm such an off person when it comes to just my flesh. There's nothing good in it. And you really can't learn nothing from me but God anyway. Because God has taken me through so many. And I go through so many experiences. And that's all I have is to keep telling you revelations about me, God, and the spiritual realm, and why I'm experiencing this activity at such a high level. And the first thing people do, like I said, they analyze. Well, you're going through this because of this. That's not normal. Well, okay, well, let me tell you what ain't normal. What ain't normal is to sit there and not know God, hear God's voice, or anything like that. You know, that's not normal. So, the Word of God is important to play. Listen to it. Let it play while you're in the room. I tell you, every time I pray, uh, I play, excuse me, Psalms 91, or I play a scripture, I'm sitting there going, it don't matter how stressed I am, it don't matter what I'm doing, it don't matter what I'm going through, I'm always well rested. This is a nugget of, 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 um, of help, wisdom. And offer a suggestion, a negative suggestion. Play the word of God. 
open up the Bible and put it under your pillow. Where did I get that from? I get that from my pastor. Don't open the word of God and put it on your pillow part. But it works. But the problem is that we got so many odds and different things against people. We can't even take the right thing. Because if somebody is not doing it the way we want them to. God didn't call me. I could get so frustrated with somebody if, if we're just going to go off of this person didn't do it the right way. I wanted it. But why would it be about me? Why would it be about you? Why wouldn't it not be about God? And then the people who find critiquing. Because I, I make sure that everything is about God. Everything is about God. And you know. I just want to put it out there. Let's expose this. Well, Kanisha's life, you idolizing it, right? It's not about you. Okay, but God came all over my life. And he took me through all these things. So it's what did God do with Kanisha's life? How can it be about me? If it was about me, then God would be nowhere in it. I would have gave him no opportunity or a chance to do nothing with me. And God wouldn't have given me testimonies if it wasn't something that he did, he caused. But when you're not mature enough, whether it be innocently and, you know, let's not let the devil play with our mind. Let's not let any voidness or anything come into to play. Let's not do that. Get out of the flesh. Get out of what area and zone you are. Because once we take a few scales off. Judgment. Scalding. Being scornful. Being bitter. Gossip. Boom. Boom. Take all that off before you start talking about somebody. You know, God commanded love. I said love. I didn't ask you. I said love. And that's how God is. So, you know, to each his own of what we're going to do. The race is not given to the swift. Google that. The race is not given to the swift. But to the one who endures till the end. So you can be mighty strong, a sumo wrestler, muscles, this and that. Strong in ministry and this and that. And then you come along and that's what people do. They make fun of Cornelia. Look at her. She ain't really got nothing. All it is about her dreams and this and that. And then here I am. I walk straight on into heaven. And then judgment day come. You look over God's shoulder and see me up with my, on my white robe. How she get up in there? You mean to tell me I was keeping up with everything, I was doing this, doing that, and everything in ministry, and this and that. God, God going to be like, I said it, it's for the one who endured to the end. He didn't say that you had to be perfect, all this money in your account. He didn't say you have to um, answer every question nicely for somebody. And every time somebody needs help or prayer, because once you extend yourself and you're just flesh, the big part of the me is when you go to God. You know, when they say ministry of helps, even a pastor is there to help you. He doesn't live with you. He may not be friends, friends, and buddy, buddy, buddy with you. You may not be able to reach him all the time and, and text him. But we, you know, we're human. God gets that. I get it. That's why a lot of people who are in ministry get chewed up so much and we go through so much and many of the reasons why a lot and the majority of people don't get close to people because they know they have all these accusations all these things to say and guess what if you don't have discernment to see through a person to understand why somebody is doing something you're gonna cause a big mess so get this nugget of wisdom today didn't even know what i was gonna talk about just cut the camera on I had a wonderful, awesome time in my dream world to ask God certain things and got understanding with other things. But I was playing the word of God. I woke up and I was just well rested. The stress and I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing this because I am one of the most, I feel, stressed people. Well, my mind is like that too. God tell me something I'm forgetting. I continue to worry. But I tell you something. When I put the word of God on, I did it one day in the middle of the day and I even going to bed. I, I started going to sleep. I'm telling you. Man, get in the word. You don't know what you're missing. It's some demons talking to you. It's self that attracts demons. And make sure, that's why God says it's a hard thing. That's not religious because it is a hard thing. Because if you got something against God and you just basically tell God from your heart, you too hard to reach. You're not going to reach for him. I don't know where you at. You're not going to try. 
examination, self-checks, examination, self-checks means all the same thing. And um, I've got corrected on some small things like that too. I'm telling you, when you become religious, when you become judgmental on how somebody does something, I know, and I was telling my group chat, I cannot picture myself trying to correct somebody off of words. Because that person belongs to God. And if I'm trying to get in that person's face and judge, and all of a sudden God comes down, he's like, step back. I'm like, Shh. Same thing with everybody else. You can't get in the way of God's people. Whether if you be on the side of ministry or on the side of learning from a person in ministry. God go, everybody, back up. I need space. I run this. That's what God say. I run this. Did you run that by me before you told that person that? And why are you using my name to say that I said that? Get into the word of God. Play the word of God. Play Gabriel Fernandez videos. How many people have used the Gabriel Fernandez videos ever since I suggested? I've suggested, excuse me, it to you. How many people has played the word of God? Playing Psalms 91 or whatever scripture that you need. How many of you have taken the Bible, put it under your pillow? The small things that I see it, forgive. How many people have forgiven that God has said to me, to you, that you got to forgive? How many people have actually done the small things that God has said through me and through many others? Because you guys go through videos, you know what I mean, every day. Um, and I'm before the Lord. I'm talking to God. I'm back here repenting. And then another video of a suggestion of a, what to say comes from God to give. But how many of us are following that regimen? Applying. Not playing. Not procrastinating. But actually following through with it. Are you following through with it? Talk to yourself every day. Do what you got to do. Hey, Q, what's going on, man? You ain't picked up the Bible in three days. Q, come on, come on, Q. You know, what's going on? You haven't prayed. You know, whatever it is. What's up, Johnny? You've been masturbating all this week. And you've been you've showing the finger at God. But ask yourself, what am I doing this week that could cause me to be blinded so I won't blame God or I won't blame people for what I'm supposed to be doing? Because if you're not getting to know God for yourself, you're dropping the ball. That's why we can't always talk about others we got to put it on ourselves so what it would it be like if i never got to know god and i shunned god out completely and i murmured and i complained i never got to where i was i didn't allow god to do it i didn't worship i didn't read the bible and let's just say i died and died and went to hell and i'm sitting there blaming god in hell for what i went through it's coming a time. Time is drawing up. It's a real thing. And just because you didn't receive God, God's going to be like, I gave you a testimony. I, that woman came to you, that man, that sermon, that pastor in Illinois. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. We're done. You know, to the left, to the left. Okay, so um, left means like a fire. And I'm, 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 I'm being as serious as I'll get out here, man. People should say the same message probably like every week or every day, every three hours or something. Get to know God. Get to know God. Get to know God. How do you get to know God? Father God, are you there? Are you listening? This is Quinitra again. Are you there? Are you listening? Um, if you're real, can you make yourself real to me? If you prayed that prayer for three days or 30 days straight until God did it, you prayed and you did your part. And trust me, God is going to come through on his part. 
Father God, are you there? This is Quinitra. I feel like you hate me. Father God, are you there? I feel like I'm hurting. Father God, are you there? I fornicated again. Father God, are you there? I smoke cigarettes again. Father God, are you there? I went drinking again. Father God, are you there? I smoke weed again. Father God, are you there? I masturbated again. Father God, are you there? I went to go hang out with the wrong crowd again. Father God, are you there? I went to do witchcraft again. Father God, can you forgive somebody like me? Can you actually truly forgive somebody like me? Lord God, it says in your word that this and this and that. You forgive murderers. You forgive all these people. Can you prove that to me? Can you show me? Can you make yourself real? Can you be loving to me? Because right now I feel like you're being hateful. And then here, here is you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm hearing all this stuff. I just can't do it. I just can't, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I don't want to do it. Hey, by the way, how do you get close to God? Somebody tell you again. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. One week later. Hey, by the way, how do you get close to God? And the person's like, you don't remember what I had told you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But how do I get close to God? You can't do that. I'm not saying, wait, wait, let's take that back. You can do it, but why would you want to? Why would you want to? You stand on Judgment Day alone. There is no apprentice. There's no lawyer. Your boyfriend, husband. Your sister, your mom, or your dad. It's just you. Not your favorite cousin. Not Moses to represent you. Nobody. It's just you and God. Ain't nobody trying to make this scary. We're trying to say get right because we want the gates of heaven to open up for you. Guess what? I want the gates of heaven to open up for me. I want the gates of heaven to open up for Quenitra. So if God gave me a promise and that I'm going to make it, then I'm going to make sure every day that I see to it that I am working on myself to make it. Glory to God. You guys are blessed.